This is Euclid, Book 1, Proposition 28. If a straight line EF falls upon two straight lines AB and CD, and either makes it such that the exterior angle EGB is equal to the same side interior and opposite angle GHD, or if the same side interior angles BGH and GHD add up to two right angles, then the lines AB and CD will be proved parallel. Let's take case number one. That is, when the exterior angle EGB is equal to the same side opposite interior angle GHD. First step is to mark our equal angles. Then, remember that from Proposition 15, we know that vertical angles, that is A, G, H, and E, G, B, are equal to one another. Now, we also know from Proposition 27 that if alternate interior angles, that is A, G, H, and G, H, D, are equal to one another, then the lines A, B, and C, D will be parallel. We see that they are. Therefore, if the exterior angle E, G, B is equal to the same side interior and opposite angle G, H, D, the lines A, B, and C, D will be parallel. That's case number one. Now, case number two. If the interior angles B, G, H, and G, H, D add up to two right angles, but we don't know the given of the first case, we can still prove that the lines A, B, and C, D will be parallel because we know that the angles A, G, H, and B, G, H add up to two right angles because they're created by one straight line falling on another. Now, we also know that the angle B, G, H plus the angle G, H, D are equal to two right angles. That's part of our given. Now, seeing here that both of these pairs of angles add up to two right angles, we can subtract the common angle BGH, and we're left with the equality AGH and GHD. Then we return to the last step of the first case, and remember Proposition 27 which says that if the alternate interior angles are equal, the lines will be parallel. We see that we have alternate interior angles being equal, therefore AB and CD have been proved parallel.